Hey guys, what the heck's going on? So, um, I'm gonna show you guys a uh, profile of the Shadals today. Team Bro Pair! Um, we've been to a lot of tournaments recently, and I've talked to three different tournaments in the last week or so. I got two first places in a runner up, and I uh, finally got this down to where I feel like it's uh, as consistent as it can be. And I feel like uh, I got all the kinks worked out, and it's um, standable up to the meta right now. So, um, as good as Shadals can be, uh, I really love this deck, and uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. So, we hop into it. First of all, we got triple Skamata. Skamata is just obviously any of them. You gotta run at three. Uh, Dragon, it used to be a one of back in the day, but now with just all the floodgates and everything running around, it's just really good at two. So, um, even side at third if you want to. Uh, double Falco, this also can be at three. Like, you can run Dragon at one and this at three if you want to. Really just depending on uh, what deck you're playing against. So, uh, double Hog, I really don't like this card. Um, but the only reason why you run it is just for the second Naga. You don't want to like burn your first one from alert or just set it or whatever early game and then um, later on in the game like not have it to fuse with Shekin Naga to add back like the Skamata to your hand or whatever else. So yeah, you just definitely want to run two for that. Plus just another dark target at the very, very least for alert. Uh, double Beast. This really stinks because um, this is a three of card in the deck. But uh, we run uh, like a lot of normal summons in, in this deck, and, and this was better at three whenever El Shadal was, um, you know, not limited. So it just really, really stinks. Um, you know, having having beasts in your hand is almost kind of a bad thing, like with this build. Uh, but like I said, with El Shadal, if back in the day whenever that was at three, it was good to have this in your hand because you wanted to like open up this in El Shadal and be able just to like fuse and just keep plusing like crazy. So um, you really just want to send them from the deck. As soon as you can. Like, uh, if your opponent doesn't uh, like lay a floodgate and you have to go like mathematician into a dragon or something, you want you just want to go ahead and send this guy ASAP. And then the other one's just gonna sit into your, sit in your deck until later on until you just send another school model just to plus. So um, that's 11 shadows and that's all we run for the whole entire build. So uh, running on to our normal summons, um, we have three kind of four kind of five normal summons in the deck. Uh, mathematician, I open it every game. <laughs> it's kind of the best card in the deck. Um, Sometimes I'll just, you know, I'll open like this and then like... Mata, Mata Beast, oh my God, yeah, Mata, it, Mata Falco, whatever. It's, oh my God, I love this card. I open it up every game. It's crazy. Uh, you, only, you only see it once. I, there's so many other one-of cards, but you never even see them at all. Like, I never see Shadal Fusion ever. <laughs> but like, I, I run three and I run one of that. Uh, two Armageddon Knight. He's the bomb.com, dude. Uh, we run one Rota also to search. Um, he's a dark target, so like I said, another alert. If you ever open up like multiple copies of this or this and like a Rota or something. Um, we run Triple Valor because Valor is the bomb. And, oh my gosh. Like, the only reason why I really run this is because like... Um, this is Chanel. This is Chanel control, and um, you know Chanel used to be an OTK deck way, way back in the day. So many Dinko crazy different combos, exactly. Yeah. And uh, but now it's just Chanel control. So like, it's a light target. Um, uh, goes into like other different stuff that we're running, like our BLS, and uh, plus it's a tuner. You can crap out Trish like it's nobody's business in this deck, uh, and it's really, really, really good. So yeah, triple effect Valor. Um, this allows you to go first or second, pretty much. Yeah. Um, like if you want to go, if your opponent wants to go first, that's fine. You can like open up these and then open up a normal summon, shut all dragon, your opponent's floodgate, and just go to town. Or if you go second, or if you, I'm sorry, if you go first, like do whatever, lay down sinister shadow game, strike, and then you have a Valor in hand. It's really good. So triple, I would never buff it down. Um, one global because check and again because it's global. Uh, one BLS. You can side this out against Cosmos, or side it out against Cosmos, I'm not saying you can't do it. Um, everything else, keep it in. It's really, really good. And then one cool tech I like with this deck. Um, Lava Golem is good no matter where he's at. He outs Monarchs, he outs Cosmos, he outs a bunch of different things. He does burn your normal summon, that counts as uh, your fourth normal summon. Uh, and then Rota counts as your fifth, um, because it is Armageddon Knight. Um, so, if this is in your hand, just sack your opponent's monsters, you can fuse it from deck. Really, really good. Uh, you know, just burn your opponent. Also, if they, you need to get that extra damage in, so yeah, uh, just it all kind of just plays into the um, Shadal control build, so to speak. Yeah. So um, it's a lot slower of a build now than it used to be, um, but it's it's a fun, more, it's a lot more fun grind game. Uh, triple Shadal fusion along with one L. I mean, yeah. Double instant fusion. Um, I feel like it's perfect at two because you don't want to see you want to see this card. Because you can go into so many cool rank fours and then like spam back like your uh, like your other shadows from the grave and then just go into like Trish or Omega or whatever like just the numbers are just really easy like you know if you have like a normal summon a three or a four 
you know, like special back either Falco or Effect Valor, and then just like you can go into your sevens, eights, and nines really, really easy right then and there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, one Dark Hole and one Raigeki. Dark Hole is at two, but I traded out. I traded out another Dark Hole for uh, another Valor. So, uh, the one Rota. Yep. Yeah. Right, the best shit all in the game. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, one Wonder One. Yep. Double yeah. Alert. That's it. Wonder <laughs> 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 One to draw because right? it's all spellcasters. Oh, yeah. So, it, yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. We get like normal summon that too, and it's, yeah. it's stupid. Double Strike. One core, one warning. Yeah. That's 40. And then going on to the extra. Double Window. Yeah. Double Shikanaga. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always One, one Gracia. Um, one Norton. Yeah. One Omega. Yeah. This card is stupid. This card is crazy. Uh, if it, if it deals damage. Uh, umbrella. Umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Umbrella. That's what I was called. Uh, you're a Bellum. Yeah. Um, so if he deals damage to your opponent, it's a Yacht Lock. Oh, like, it's stupid. Okay, it's pretty okay, awesome. Okay, okay. Uh, one Trish, because my opponent's. Uh, not my opponent. My friend's Baller bar and mine. Yeah. One Armadies, uh, because Armageddon Knight and this, or yeah. whatever. Um, this because you can. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that because you can. Yeah, you're good. And then this because you can. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's good. And then just two samples. Yeah. So that is cool. it, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So yeah. We'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe.